i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to use youtube audios for your background music for your you know video audios without copyright <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Cynthia here. If you're new here, my first video tells you all about me. So go check that out. It's going to be up on the description. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. Thanks for sticking around and hope you guys enjoyed this video. So guys, so for today's video, I'm going to, you know, be dropping you guys some information, be dropping you guys, you know, some insights, you know, to this YouTube stuff. So guys, you're getting not only entertainment, not only encouragement, but <laughs> education, information here in this channel as well. You're welcome, guys. Say no more. Anyway, so guys, this is something really, really cool and helpful. Like I discovered, I know probably it's probably already existing. Somebody already figured it out, but I decided to share it with you guys because I also saw that it's going to be something very useful for a lot of us, especially us beginners. And I decided to, you know, share with you guys. So if you know of this already, just leave a thumbs up in the comments. And if you don't know already, then stay tuned because you're about to get enlightened. Okay. So basically, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to use YouTube audios for your background music, for your, you know, video audios without copyrights. I mean, we can all admit, we can all relate to the stress of copyright you're done with your video you've, you're done editing you've uploaded all you want to do is just to relax maybe just touch up some subtitles here and there and you have to do with copyright that's always the worst guys as i know you all can relate so i mean why not use it from the source themselves i mean exactly so we're going to be using or i'm going to be showing you guys how to use youtube's own audios in your videos that way you don't have to worry about copyright because what are you going to do are you going to copyright themselves duh anyway so mostly you notice these audios um you know you mostly come across them when you have to you know replace audios that you used in your videos after uploading them then maybe there's copywriting youtube will refer you to this audios and tell you okay use this to replace your songs but then you're already done you don't have to go through that stress so why not just use this song already before uploading while editing your videos and that is why i'm here to show you guys how to do that because it's a life safe, i believe me so without further ado guys let's go so guys first you have to go to your youtube studio preferably the online version because i find that the app is you don't have these features on the app so for me i just prefer using the online version so that is studio.youtube.com so you go there and you know you access your account from there so i'm using my other account my game channel <laughs> check it out <laughs> anyway so what you want to do after getting to your account on the youtube studio you have to scroll all the way to by the way i'm using the phone guys so because for me it's just more convenient to use my phone i know probably laptop is best and all of that so if you are a phone editor like me or if you edit on your phone like me then this video is definitely for you and if you edit on your laptops you guys should just let me know down in the comments and i'll make a different video you know showing you how this process is done using the laptop okay so we mobile folks let's go so what you want to do is you want to go down to the audio library right here and that's where you find youtube's you know tracks basically so they are up to 2280 yeah so <laughs> believe me you're going to find whatever you're looking for in there so they have all their audios they have like all this kind of audios that you can use for background like the sound this way so the first column is saying to play them to hear the sound and yeah then the next column basically is for you know starring the audio because as you saw there's over 2000 audios and let's say you find the particular video that the particular audio that suits your video maybe in the 1581 you get page i mean it's difficult to look for it again so what you do is that you just start it and when you come here you see it saved under the start and it's easier to just access it that way because you know as i think a lot of us will relate you can't just use any audio for your videos you know they just have to match the vibe you are going for 
you understand exactly so what you want to do is you want to star it and you can always come here and find them and so youtube also have like sound effects you know sounds of kids kids playing factory trucks etc they have it there as well and then aside from background music they also have like you know music with words like so you don't be like oh every time you're using background music so for example they have let me find one that i'm familiar with so that i can show you guys so yeah for example this sitting up breathless and it is infectious i feel spenseless it has one as well so you can use this as well it's free and now to the main video so what you want to do yeah you notice the play button you have the you know star button or favorite button you have the names of the tracks here you have the genres here depending on what vibe you're looking for same with the mood then the artist if you have a particular artist in mind you know you can find them on the artist column then duration of time you can use it for as long as your video you know goes i think there are some that are up to eight minutes and you know like that and you can just obviously like you know use more of these clips together too if your video is more than that and then you have the license type they are all licensed by youtube so again <laughs> go back to copyright <laughs> anyway and lastly you have the added date so you can see that they are very recent tracks so you don't have to worry about using you know old school or you know outdated tracks so that's another positive part of the youtube audio library okay so now how do you get this thing to use before uploading the video so now to the process so say for example you want to use this song so what you do is that you click on it and then you see the download comes up you click on the download and then you can either view or download they are both um similar in a way i'll show you what i mean so for example say you view you come here and you can preview the song listen to it and you know make sure that this is what you want for your video and then after doing that you click on the share button now in this place you can save to your files so for me i have like an a folder here for the audios i downloaded from the audio so i just named it youtube music so you just save it there and then when you go to your files you find it there so now going back to the other download aspect so take for example this audio right here you download so clicking on the download right now after clicking on it you see this blue arrow down here you click on it you go to your downloads and you find your song right here or your audio right here you want to click on that you can also preview it here as well and then you click on the share again now rather than sh you can also share to save to files if you've not done that but for me i also like this process because you can directly save it to your editing app so for me i use the vn you know video editor so i can just save it there by clicking on the app and then it brings you to you know your music library of your video editor so i already have a folder here for it so i just click on that and done it's saved to it so whenever i want to edit my videos i can always come to it and i can use it so let's say for example i want to edit say this video right here i have it there i go to my music go to the youtube music and i have my video here ready to use and i don't have to worry about it being copyrighted so that's awesome and now back to it so that's basically it guys i don't think there's anything much else that's how to use audio libraries to edit your videos before uploading and never having to worry about copyright again how cool is that guys let me know down in the comments um i know i didn't know about that when i found out i was so you know amazed and i was very happy and i felt like i had to share it so if you didn't know about this and you're finding out in my video make sure you leave a thumbs up you know subscribe if you haven't for more content you know informative content like this Comment down below any other thing that you'd like to know about the YouTube studio. I'm not a professional, but I have pretty much explored to an extent and I can try as much as I can to, you know, to sort or, you know, show you guys how some things are done. And yeah, comment down below. The comment section are always open for you guys. So once again, like, comment, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. So guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys were informed, if it's your first time knowing about this, if you found value on this information, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below, you know, that you actually benefited from this. And I would love, love, love to hear that. 
so guys don't hesitate to comment down below and i'm going to help you guys figure it out because we are all in this together okay we're all heading to the top together so we gotta help each other out so once again comment down below if there's anything else you guys would like me to you know do such tutorial videos on and i'll definitely be here for you i said i got you guys i got you okay anyway once again comment down below like share and subscribe if you haven't to join the family don't miss out on all of this you know educative informative you know encouraging stuff that we give to you guys every week on this channel so that being said guys time for the encouragement word of the day so guys today's encouragement is from philippians 1 6 and it says being confident of this that he who began a good work in you will carry it onto completion onto the day of christ jesus so guys remember whatever you're going through it's only but the middle god is already working on your end so you have to just trust in him and you know believe that he's going to give it a perfect and a complete end because that is what he's going to do so hope you guys are encouraged by this and with that being said catch you guys in the next one adios amigos that's my bye guys peace